What's going on everybody? Welcome to our X11 window tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to just create a simple uh, window. And I like to organize my files, therefore I'll put everything in uh, subfolders. And just for this lesson, I'm not going to create any make files, but from lessons 2 and onwards, I'm going to create make files for all of our projects. Uh, because if we are going to make uh, huge projects like contains more than one file, we just don't want to compile all of them. But for the case of simplicity, I'll just use GCC from command line and we are not going to create any make files for this first lesson. So I'll just create a new directory here and let's call this actually let's just call this X simple window. Let's just change the directory. And uh, all of the main source files will have the same name as our directory, so therefore our C file will be called xsimplewindow.c. And I'm not going to explain all of the logic behind our uh, XOR display server because it's uh, pretty huge and I don't even know all of it, I just know a tiny bit of X11 server. Uh, therefore, if you are curious about it, just go and try to read a book about them. I'll just uh, prepare for your code practice and how to use X11 tools uh, with comfortable ways. So we need to include our header files first. And uh, these are the pretty common uh, X11 header files, but I think for this lesson we just need uh, xlib.h header file. And let's just include standard uh, C header files and let's just include error.h because if we can establish a connection to the display server, we need to kill our application. So, <clears throat> uh, to be able to make a connection with our display server, we need to have some uh, top-level global variables. And I'll mark all of them as static, because we are just going to use them in our main file, we are not going to call our display from anywhere else. If we really much need it, we can just pass the reference of our uh, current display pointer to other ones. So we need to have three different variables. So the first one will be a struct pointer display. Uh, this will establish our connection to the display server, which is obviously running now. And we need to have a static in screen. So this screen uh, will just return a value from our display server. And this will just be a number, our screen number. And we need to have a root window. So everything besides the root window are just childs of root window. So our always top level window will be root window. So if you want to know, uh, open some sub windows, actually, let me know this static too. So if you're going to open multiple sub windows, uh, we need to uh, pass the reference of the root, uh, otherwise we'll just uh, make windows within windows. So let's continue. And so static window root. And now we can try to write our main function. And uh, as I've told you before, our first code will just like be in uh, 100 lines, small programs. And I won't create any functions for this lesson. From lesson two and onwards, we'll just organize our programs a little bit more and beautiful. So if you are going to create a window, we need to define some variables. Uh, you can use macros or if you want you can just use constant variables so i'll just use macros for now so let's just define some variables so let's call this uh, posx actually so posx means that the where will be the window spawn when we map that window to our display server so i can just put an arbitrary value here like i don't know 500 and let's say that pos y is equals 500 to so if you know uh, the pixel values of your uh, screen so for example like full hd you can just divide your width by two and height by two if you know it manually to be able to uh, center your window if you want so we need to define some more variables so width will be our window width and let's say this is 400 actually let's just do something like this also, we need to define a height, so I'll just make a simple square here. Actually, we can give 500 to both of these two. And we need to have a border width. So, let's just say our border is just, I don't know, 15, 4, yeah. 
So now we've defined all our, our variables. Let's try to write our main function first. So uh, we can just delete this because we are not going to give any optional arguments from uh, command line for now. So now we need to create our connection to our display server. So you can do this in t two ways. So x open display establishes your connection to your display server. Uh, this null value uh, is actually means nothing. So this is the display server name. So if you want, you can just give, um, I don't know, my display server or something like that. If you want something like that, something, blah, blah. However, uh, for the case of simplicity, I'll just give null. Uh, now we need to check if the connection is established. So if it is not established, our uh, display will be null. So if our display is null, we need to throw an error. So rx, so let's just say our status is 1, and let's do it second way, can't open display. Uh, as well as we need to, oops, sorry guys, actually rx will automatically close our application. So there is a much prettier way to do it in just one line, therefore I'm not going to use this. I've just used this for simplicity to be able to understand. So I'm just deleting all of the lines here. I'll do it in an if branch. So if our dpy, dpy which is equals to x open display, and we are doing null reference, if it is equal to null, then we'll throw it on error. So can't, can't open display. Now, we have successfully established our connection to our display server. Now we need to set our screen and our root window. So to get our screen, so screen will be equal to x get default x default screen x get default Oh, I'm sorry, not x, just default screen. So, uh, most of the time, actually, like all of the time, we need to give our display as a function argument to be able to solve our problem. So, now we have our screen number. If we have our screen number, now we can get the root window from our display server. So, root will be equals to root window of our display server and our screen. So now, actually, we have done uh, the main stuff. Most of these will be like default in every x11 uh, program. So just know all of these. Now we need to create our window. So creating window is actually easy. So in our int main, let's just define a variable window win. Now let's try to create this window. So win will be equals to x creates simple window. And as you can see, it just holds too much arguments and some of them are not defined. So it doesn't say what this int value will be. However, uh, most of the x11 uh, functions have manual pages. Let me just show you. So actually, let's just write it. So man x create simple window. As you can see, this x create simple windows takes several arguments. So display, our display server, our parent window, which will be root for now. Uh, x position, y position, with height, so border width, we all define these. And these two values will be default pixels of our display. So we'll just use a black pixel for our border and white pixel for our background for now. After that, we'll add more colors with the uh, XFD library. So let's try to do it now. So display our root window. So what is that? So our position x, position y, and width height, so border. Now, what will be our border pixel? As I've told you about, there's a function called uh, black pixel in x11, so display, screen, and what will be our background? So our background will be white pixel of our display and our screen. So now we've created our simple window. However, we need to map this to our uh, graphics unit we need to map this window to our display server. To be able to do that, there's a simple function again. So x map window, and we are just going to give our display again and our window. However, 
and most of the code is done actually but if you try to run this program file it will just return zero we need to do something else more so actually let me just comment here so uh, get default screen and root window so in here uh, creating our simple window and in here map our window to display server so we need to have an x event loop uh, what's an x event loop so x event loop actually has different kinds of parameters uh, which can be expose event i don't know button press key press etc however we are not going to do any of them now we are just going to have a simple while loop with a simple x event and it will just run out forever we are not going to bind anything for now so let's create our x event in our top level so x event and f uh, by the way, these are the most used synonyms for these windows. So win and f for x event. If you want, you can just use different things. However, I'm just using trying to uh, default values of our programs here. So let's continue. How to create an uh, while loop, an event loop with our x event. So it's actually pretty easy. It will go like this. So while x next event event. So it will be our display and we need to give a reference to it because it needs a pointer is equals to zero so this zero means that nothing is uh, provoked continue to work on your own we are not going to do anything here in our while loop as i've told you before we'll just leave it blank so is our work done uh, no actually we are not done because we've used some resources here and as you might know actually you probably know uh, we need to clear what we have created now so first of all, we need to unmap our window. So unmap our simple window. It's again the same name actually. X unmap window. So display and our win. After unmapping our window, now we need to destroy it to free our resources. Free our resources. So X destroy window will automatically destroy our window. And after that, now we have done everything we could now we need to close our display connection with our x server so it will be pretty simple so close our connection with display display server oops a little bit of typo there so x close display and dpy uh, actually this is pretty much it so uh, let's try to compile it and run it now because we are going to have some errors since we have never cached any event, so for example, like button press or Q for exit, uh, we are not going to be able to exit from this program. So therefore we need to kill it with xkill command, which we'll see now. So now let's compile it. So if you if we just try to compile it like this, it will give uh, undefined reference error because we didn't meet our library, so we need to do that. So gcc dash x 11 so this is the synonym for x level library and then x simple window.c and after that let's just call this x simple window yes so now we have our executable let's try to run it now x simple window so as you can see actually border is not seen because of my dwm configuration however we have a, a simple switch screen so why is this happening we've defined the width and height so it should be 500 pixels not whole element wise uh, you can't make a fixed window in xorg therefore since dwm is a staked desktop manager i'm sorry window manager it automatically resizes it however if you try to do something like this, so as you can see i'm now in tiled mode if I just go in floating mode now and let's just open a simple file explorer here and let's try to run this xsimple window from there. So as you can see, uh, my window popped up in some different location and as you can see it's just a square box with 500 and 500 pixels. However, I still can exit it. To be able to exit it, we need to write our xkill command and select our window to be able to 
exit from that. So actually this is just it. So if you are wondering where is this XOR display server, actually it just runs with your display manager if you are using a display manager like me or if you are using tunnel to start XOR on your DWM, uh, it will automatically run in background. So if you want to check if it is running or not, you can check it with systemctl actually if you are using systemctl. So status display manager that service and as you can see lightdm has two C groups here and as you can see xorg is running right in here. So this will be the first tutorial of our uh, x11 series and in the next tutorial we are just going to create a new window with event listeners so for example if we press button 1 in our mouse it will automatically kill our window as well as we are going to uh, try to make our make files so if you know about make files just skip the next video. So this is just uh, it guys so see you in the next tutorial take care guys